Hello, and this is Pastor Rob, and I want to do a devotion uh, with you today, uh, this Wednesday, uh, August, I believe it's the 26th. And we are talking about uh, changing our mindsets and um, setting our mind on heavenly things. So, changing mindsets, what, what may be do you and I need to change with regards to how we think? Well, today let's look at Matthew chapter 6. And I'm just going to read verse 33. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. And the Apostle Matthew writes the following by the Holy Spirit. Jesus is speaking, and he says, But seek first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. Now, what does that have to do with changing mindsets? Well, let me just say right now that many of us approach life from the standpoint of what's in it for me. But what we find here and throughout Scripture is that in reality, we are called to look at life and say, what's in it for God? What does God want? How will we serve him today? How do we lead people to salvation? And so we need to understand that life is not about what I can get out of it. It's about what we can do for God in it. And that brings me to this. There are many people who are middle-aged or older, uh, like myself, and many times we work for retirement. We think, well, then, then we'll have fun, or then we'll do this, or then we'll do that. And there are lots of people, younger, who go to college, who want to land that job, make money, be successful. By the way, God doesn't have uh, anything against being successful. But if our success is based on how much money we make, how many friends we have, our popularity, uh, our pension plan, or what have you, we're, we're working for the wrong thing. All those things have no eternal value. What matters is that we seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, God's righteousness. So today, let's check ourselves. What are we busy about doing? Why are we running after this or that degree? What are we saving up for in retirement? Are we using the life that God's given us to seek first his kingdom, to do for God, to share our testimony of how the Lord has blessed and healed and saved and delivered through Jesus Christ and invite people to join him. If we are focused and focusing our attention on worldly things, well, then we're, we're chasing after the wrong thing. If we're chasing after blessings without chasing after the one who blesses, we're doing it wrong. And so today, let's examine our hearts. What are we working so hard for? What are we seeking that degree for? What are we living for? Are we living so that we can get the most out of life, or are we living our lives in such a way so that God can be glorified the most out of life? Let's see first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All the other things will come. We need to remember that we're here to serve him, and we're here to serve at his pleasure, not to serve our own pleasures. Let's pray. So, Father, I thank you 
Thank you for your many blessings in our life. Forgive us, no Lord, when we, we seek to get the most out of life for ourselves instead of seeking first the kingdom of God and your righteousness. We do thank you for your many blessings. And we pray, Lord, that by your grace you would give us the focus to find ways that would honor you and bring people to know you as Lord God and Savior and Redeemer of our souls. And we ask this in Jesus' name, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. All right, you have a good night.